Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Mark McDonald with First United Methodist Church of Batesville, Arkansas, coming to you with week 12, day two of our 12-week study on experiencing God, knowing and doing the will of God. Uh, today, we are continuing our work in the ways that we talk about how koinonia is, as, as the workbook put it in the very first uh, paragraph today, very first sentence, koinonia is the basic element of salvation and eternal life. That's a big statement. Uh, for, for Methodists, if you're used to Methodist language, koinonia is the basic element, the foundation of sanctification. It's that, that way that grace continues to pull us closer to God, closer to one another. And so today we begin uh, a study of this week of the essentials of that. And the first one, of course, is to love God with our heart, soul, mind, and strength, as, as Jesus says in the, as quoted in, in the book of Mac, uh, excuse me, Mark, uh, that, that, that we put God first, heart, soul, mind, and strength. You know, if you've heard me preach about this before, that's how I make my New Year's resolutions. That's how I, I really try to think of how my priorities should line my life up with God. His heart is our emotions. Uh, to, to love God with our heart, with our soul, means that spiritually that we are connected Heart, soul, mind is our intellectual development, that we're reading the right things, that we're challenging ourselves, stimulating ourselves to grow intellectually. And then strength, of course, is the last one. And when Jesus uses the word strength, it's translated both in the strength as in the physical strength, like the power, but more than that, it has to do with courage. And so we should love God with our, our emotions, our our soul, our mind, and our courage, our bodies. Everything that we have should put God first. The second essential that we're covering today is about how we're, we're called to submit to God's sovereign will. Now, sovereign is a word that means a supreme political ruler. So when we join the United Methodist Church, we join it by saying we do affirm our faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, Lord being the ruler. That's about sovereignty, that Jesus was God made flesh to show us what it means to live our lives in a daily way that shows that God is first in everything we do. Now, today's lesson tests us some on how the church lives in koinonia and follows God's sovereign will, because that means that we do not follow what the pastor says. We do not follow what the chairperson of one committee says, or even what the people say in mass. You know, a lot of times we do surveys in churches to know where people are. That's not because we want to do your will that we want to do the people's will of the church. The church is not a democracy in the same sense as our world is. We're different. We live in the kingdom, and our koinonia calls for us to put God's sovereignty above everybody else's, above mine, above yours, above ours. It's God's sovereign will. You may remember that in our church over the last few years, we have chosen our elected officials by asking for nominations from the entire congregation for spiritual leaders. And, and the way that we define what a spiritual leader is really points to somebody who lives in Koinonia. It talks about people who are, who are regular in their attendance in church, who, who give to the church in their time, their talents, their gifts, their service. It, it talks about all the ways that when they come into the church and when they come into your presence, you know that they are there to build you up, to encourage you, not to accomplish something, not to bring an agenda. Start to think about that because, because the pastor's will is not what's most important, nor are the leader's wills, nor even all the people's wills. We are under not a democracy, but a theocracy. So our job in the church, in this koinonia, to find this essential of submitting to God's sovereign will is simply to discern God's will, and then to follow. That's the basis of this whole study. So it doesn't matter if you who are doing this study with us, you're part of the leadership in the church, or you're just, consider yourself one of the person who sits in the pews, so to speak, and now starting next week, you have that option again. It is calling for all of us 
to pray and consider. And so those are the first two steps of the essentials that we will begin studying in today's lesson. I hope that you enjoy it today. Thank you. God bless. Have a blessed day. And of course, be a blessing.